Here we go. Let me bring up the audio. Some very concerning stuff that's going on at uh, LAX. And we'll find out if Jetpack Man has any diesel problems. Maybe. We'll find out. This morning, yet another sighting of an unidentified person wearing a jetpack flying high above the Los Angeles area about 15 miles from LAX. The strange sight detailed through air traffic control audio between an American Airlines pilot and an airport dispatcher. Fly a jetpack that was uh, an aircraft four and a half miles ahead reported to a uh, person in a jetpack eastbound at 4,500. No word on the identity of the makeshift air traveler, but it's not the first sighting of its kind. And we just passed a guy in a jetpack. Don't hear that every day. Back in December, another American Airlines pilot on a training flight captured this video of what appeared to be someone wearing a jetpack flying just a few miles from the airport. But the video was dismissed as a balloon. That- it looks like it looks like Jack Skellington, and we talked about this one. It looked like a balloon, Jack Skellington, a nightmare, nightmare before Christmas. That's what it looked like. But some of the other ones, they do look like a genuine person, at least a, a, a fatter balloon, I should say, more enlarged balloon but here we go we'll finish this looked like a guy with a jetpack and just a few months earlier last august multiple pilots reported some kind of high flying hazard in the sky you know, we just saw the guy test by us a person in a jetpack reported 300 yards south of the la final at about 3,000 feet jetpack technology is out there with sightings at the statue of liberty and in the UK, where the Royal Navy's been developing and testing a jet suit for boarding enemy ships. But experts say operating a makeshift jetpack near commercial flights could spell disaster. The size weight of a person in a jetpack impacting an airplane at the exact wrong spot could potentially bring that airliner down. People need to fly them in a responsible way. The FAA says it has worked closely with the FBI to investigate every reported jetpack sighting, and so far, no sightings have been verified. That's a funny headline. Oh, was cool music they were going to play at the end there? It was George Stephanopoulos saying, uh, make sure you subscribe to the ABC YouTube. Oh, I'm going to subscribe right now. Get that hot track. It's very important. George Stephanopoulos, former Clinton advisor. Uh... Or was he used the Clinton press secretary, I believe? Uh, it was press secretary. Yeah, I, I think so. Press yes, sec- because because uh, he used to famously be called George Stuff and Envelopes. Mm-hmm. So there we go. More Jetpack Man. And uh, they said they haven't been able to uh, verify any of this stuff. But okay, they, they got the FAA. They got the FBI. Uh, they're both looking into it. And what do you mean they haven't been able to verify? They have multiple pilots expressing concern and you'd imagine that these pilots uh, aren't they verifying something in the air no one was obviously a balloon um but they're they're observing something in the air that could cause potential j- danger to their these flights especially if one is right there at the the landing zone for LAX just hovering 3000 feet and they, they can't confirm. They haven't decided at this point. The FBI hasn't decided at this point to set up, I don't know, trail cams around LAX, uh, maybe deploy some radar, just kind of stake out the place and because it's happening quite frequently. Why don't they just take a pot shot at the guy? Exactly. At this point, what's the harm? Just put two guys out there, do a stakeout like it's another 48 hours. You can get some ex-con. He'll do it. And uh, problem solved. And get some radar out there. Use your new gadgets. But no, they're not doing that. Uh, They have decided to basically sit on their ass. They're too busy with other things. Yeah, they're too busy looking into uh, the insurrection of January 6th, which was the worst day since Pearl Harbor times the Civil War. Now, I bet if Jetpack Man was at the January 6th riot, (laughs) they would look into that. And why wasn't Jetpack Man there? Or was he? We don't know. He could have been up in the air. Everyone's looking down on the ground. They should have been looking up. Looking up. Jetpack man flying around. You, who do you think is coordinating the entire operation? It's probably Trump. Trump's probably Jetpack man. Flying around. Huh. All right. I'm going to lose my mind today. The shampoo. Um, 
I do believe it or not, for the first time in several months, I have Arby's news. I'm going to save that. Don't, Fuck yeah. Don't let us forget until we get to the Arby's news. We are going to start with some food news because it happens this week and it happens this weekend every year. It's the, the hot dog eating contest. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. The famous Coney Island hot yeah. dog eating contest. Is it the famous Nathan's? It is. The famous Nathan's hot dog eating contest. Okay. Let's bring this up on screen. Everything you need to know about Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. Uh, that's good news. Hell yeah. And they're right, what's pictured on screen is uh, what appears to be a child uh, eating a hot dog, and she's in immense pain. The child, not the hot dog. Eat the we dog. don't know. The hot dog, the hot dog could have feelings. We'll find out. Um, okay, it's that time again when the whole family gathers around the picnic table to honor the deity, Joey Chestnut, by snuffing down as many hot dogs as they can. Okay, maybe your family doesn't do exactly this, but it would be quite a way to celebrate the annual Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest happening this and every 4th of July at Coney Island. And if you haven't checked out uh, this competitive eating spectacle before, now's the time. The rules for the contest are simple. Contestants go against each other to see how many hot dogs, hot dogs in buns mm -hmm. the, they can eat in 10 minutes. Condiments are allowed, but are not usually added. Yeah, they just kind of slow you down at that point. Not unless you use one as lubrication. That's what I was going to say. You could lube up your dog with some uh, ketchup, and that just goes right down your gizzard. I would your think gullet. mayonnaise like would gullet. be better. Mayonnaise is going Man to Mayonnaise is more slippery. <laughs> it's, it's slippier. It, it looks ha better, have too, we tested right? the viscosity of various condiments? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to do this. <laughs> Mustard, you definitely don't want to do. It's a hard grain. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's it a would, seed. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad news. Not a joke. Uh, Do not use mustard as lube. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it's frowned upon. That's for sure. <laughs> a little spicy. Uh, condiments are allowed, but not usually added. If you throw up, you're disqualified. I like to eat. Uh, whoever eats the most hot dog wins. It's an Amer it's America, America in a nutshell. Okay. I will eat your ass. Uh, so here's a brief history of Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. Okay. What, is Wait, it? what, what were the rules? You said there was more rules. This is, the rules are simple, and it, it links to a whole different article. Uh, here are the rules. Uh, it's a whole long I article. Know, I thought maybe they went through them. No, like, it should be, I mean, like, like three bullet points, right? You got to eat the hot dog in a bun. Use condiments if you want. If you throw up, eat the throw up, and then go back to eating hot dogs. <laughs> That's part of the hot dog. You got to. It's make in you the eat rules, Cratchit. Yeah, oh, use the throw up as lube. <laughs> we we will deduct every vomited Jesus. hot dog up as 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 a negative <laughs> hot dog to your count. Uh. <laughs> this is not a family show. <laughs> it's, I mean, eh, maybe if you have like thirteen year old boys, they'd probably get a kick out of like the the poopy poo poo and pee pee talk. But <laughs> wee wees and doo doo. Yeah, maybe like that. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> uh, for a while, rumor had it that the uh, very first hot dog eating contest contest took place. In Coney Island, the same year that Nathan's itself opened its wiener stand, uh, well, it I was. Tried, I tried a wiener stand once. Do not try that. You got to sit down for that stuff. No, uh, it, wa it was. It was. Afterwards, it was a way for a group to uh, a group of recent immigrants to see who was the most patriotic. Turns out, it was just a publicity stunt invented by uh, Mortimer Matz a longtime public relations expert who spent his later years at the Durst organization run by a uh, brother Durst? of Robert Durst. Uh, who's Robert Durst? Not Fred brother, Durst. Br brother of Fred Durst. This is a long time ago. So it could be like the great grandfather of Fred Durst of Limp Biscuit. So Robert Durst. He's, he's a real estate developer who murdered his wife. Oh, okay. Oops. 
and yeah. don't want to be associated with that. Okay. And he also he also had a brother who liked hot dog contests. Yeah, I had to eat. I murdered my brother and ate him. Yeah, under ten, in under ten minutes with a bun. Didn't puke. He well, he tried. So his brother did a hot dog eating contest. Nate or um, uh, Robert Durst tried doing a murdering contest. He only got through one. Oh, okay. Well, the contest as we know it today truly began in 1979, solidifying what would be uh, what would take place every year on Independence Day. Then, in 1997, it was officially sanctioned by the International Federation of Competitive Competitive Eating and Major League Eating. The current record holder for the aforementioned uh, Joey Chestnut, who broke his own record in 2020 by eating 76 hot dogs what in 10. F- Minutes. I like where to they, eat. Where did they go? I I don't know. These and these guys are like skinny. Like most of these competitive eaters, they're like they're not like real big dudes. They're like skinny. I don't know how they do it. Joe, you ever been into uh, like a an eating competition, like hot oh, wings or anything so like that? So many missed jokes you could have said right there. Uh you know what? No, that's not a thing. I don't do that stuff. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to. It's not, like it, I, I had a friend. I mean, I don't. I always mention this, but I don't think you ever met my friend John. But um, uh, I wish you had. I, we would have got along pretty great because he was a goofy motherfucker. But he always wanted to go to these buffets. It was like Chinese buffet, the pizza buffet. It's like I don't want to go to a fucking buffet. Why? No. Like I want one good thing or like to share some some shit with friends. I don't want to fucking go gorge myself at some buffet. No. But, Joe, but Joe, there's a chocolate fountain, and you can start fights over crab legs when they come out. And uh, Golden Crow, you can hit people with booster seats, <laughs> as as we we found out last show. So, I don't like competitive eating. I don't like it. Uh, it just it just kind of makes me sick. There's something mm-hmm. very. I don't know. Um, so self indulgent about it, like over indulgence about it. It's like this. It's just kind of disgusting to a certain degree. The, but the food isn't even that great. Like you, you could pay like eight bucks and eat garbage, or you could pay like you just described bucks. a buffet. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like eight bucks and eat garbage, or you could pay twelve bucks and eat something that is so delicious that you know you'll remember it. A buffet you won't remember. It just it's, it seems like you're taking this food for granted. I grew up always being told that there's China people be they're hungry in China. China people. <laughs> well, you know, okay. when I was a hundred percent sober there for a few months, uh, not that long ago, I was looking at it was interesting because my mindset had changed where it was like all meals were you know you had to have a reverence for them. Mm. And I do think that's still true. I just am too drunk to focus on that. Um, I will often give thanks for my food, like a form of grace. Uh, like I, I'm, I'm thankful like my God with what might be coming down the, uh, the pipe for, for everyone in this country and the rest of the world. Hey, thank your, uh, thank your beans right now. Your Frank and beans, because it might not be here later. That's true. How'd you get the beans about the Frank? I don't know. I was trying to Cratchit, Cratchit's nailing it down in the uh, Twitch. I only eat at restaurants with dessert-based fountains. <laughs> if there's Fish not did. some sort of liquid, liquid uh, sweetener coming out of a fountain, I don't want to be there. That is a good credo. If you have to have one, that would be it. So, the, do they stream this live? Like, could uh, I get okay? ESPN will it's be, be airing. ESPN. Yeah, yeah. Say, ESPN seriously. will be airing. All the action starting at 10.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. With is, Ro- is Rogan commentary? Who's, who's no. doing it? Damn it. Uh, anchor John Anderson provides the play-by-play commentary. It should be Rogan, and then about halfway through, they introduce the wild card of Conor McGregor and a kangaroo yeah. onto the same hey, stage. Hey, buddy, you're not healthy. <laughs> Why wow, people are trying to eat. <laughs> By the way, you look like shit. <laughs> Well, it's hard to look good when you're stuffing 70 hot dogs in your mouth. And there's a kangaroo and Conor <laughs> McGregor fighting yeah. behind you. Yeah, it's not the... Wailing on each other. Oh, shit. Not the easiest to get done, but okay. Uh, uh, that's, that's I might that. watch. 
Like, I'm not going to watch uh, fireworks, but I may watch this. <laughs> I may watch this. Uh, if in they my shoot, house, we don't celebrate with fireworks. We celebrate with hot dogs. If they shot hot dogs in the air, I'd probably watch that. There we go. Look at that. They just launched some hot dogs right there. Hot dogs. Oh, look at that. There's, little, there's some hot dogs up there. Look at that. Look at them go. A hot dog party. <laughs> it's a hot dog party. Oh, these are the best hot dogs. They're so succulent. <laughs> <laughs> We should get Alex Jones to join the Coney Dog or Coney Island hot dog eating contest to promote Infowars. <laughs> and can we get Alex Jones on the Union of the Unwanted? We've tried, and uh, we like we as Sam Tripoli tried. It was our idea, obviously, and uh, he reached out to him. There are some talks, but Alex is very busy, and we might we would have to maybe do it on his schedule, which I'm not mm -hmm. against. Um, but it's just. Uh, Logistics just haven't worked out thus far. Uh, let's see, do you want to stay on food related news? You want to go to oddball stuff here? Mm, all sorts it's, of things here. It's your call. All right. Um, it's a food related question. Mm. You, right, want to, you want to stick with the food, Joe? Let's do it. No, no, no. I, I mean, I want to go into whatever Cretchen's food story is, but I have sort of a existential food related right. question believe it or not okay. oddly enough a lot of my stuff has some relation to food but um let's go with this one oops where'd it go there it is here is a lawsuit that you guys can all get in on you know for, i'm trying to think of another uh podcast that talks about uh michael jackson uh cloning himself uh then uh talking about the most recent supreme court rulings and then talking about Food news. <laughs> yeah, well, so I, let me ask have... my food related question. Okay, go for it. If we're going to eat bugs, yeah. Will we get electrocuted if we eat lightning bugs? Joke, Joe. How could you have done What'd you this? do? Disappointed. Oh, but this is starting to disappoint Yeah, he See, need to go to jail. Joe, you missed the opportunity on that one. First of all, that's a biochemical sort of thing. It's not electric. But what you could have said is, if you're on a diet and you only eat bugs, should you eat lightning bugs because they're lighter meal? No. It's, it's you're you're in further jail. Wrong. You're in solitary. <laughs> hey, you use dad jokes. You got to dad joke it up. So. It was a long way to go. I could see the angle, though. You can see the angle. But we've got a very important lawsuit here. <laughs> I think. Uh, no, it's not a lawsuit. It's, it's uh, actually already been. It's already been decided in your favor. Oh wow! So, so Red to everybody Bull. listening right now, here's free money. Listen to Mike. Okay. Red Bull drinkers can claim ten dollars over "Give You Wings" lawsuit. That's some good news on that front. Finally, this is this is settled. We were we were wondering about this. <laughs> Supreme Court ruled. If you drank a can of Red Bull within the past uh, 12 years, you may be able to claim $10 after a lawsuit over the energy drinks claim to give you wings. Well played. Was that ever a claim? I mean, it was a slogan. Well, it was in the commercial. They had that, that little animation, and it said, Red Bull gives you wings. Well, the, the cartoon guy said, I can fly away if I drink this. Yeah. So, uh, you owe me money. Yeah, Red Bull gives you wings. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can just, here's the. I like that Foley work. It is nice Foley. Oh, this is that, rubbing his shirt. Yeah, rubbing his shirt. Are you drinking Red Bull? Empty can. Yeah. And it's just flying around. And then he takes open his pants. He opens his pants, he gives you wings. He did. He opened up. The dude opened up his pants and, and like, it's insinuated that he was going to piss on the bird. Here, I, I'll, I'll put this on screen. Are you pouring us some Red Bull, Cratchit? Pouring my own Red Bull over can here. You pull me, can you pour me a Red Bull, too? Right, hold on a second here. There you go. Ah, that goes great with some Nathan's hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing you can wash it down with. Red, Red Bull. Bull and hot dogs. Oh. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll put this Red Bull uh, ad up on the screen. It is disgusting. You guys let me know what you see here. But I, I, it looks like there's an animated guy walking, and there's a bird that's flying around over top of him, and it, it, it craps... On the guy, the bird craps on the guy. He takes out his handkerchief, wipes it off, 
And then he opens up his purse, drinks a Red Bull. Why is he carrying a purse? He flies up in the air, and then he pulls down his pants to pee on the bird. Red Bull just, gives you wings. They don't show what he did, though. No, it's insinuated. I think the implication there, he was going to rape that bird. Yeah, I mean, it could have gone either way. Well, if you drank Red Bull in the past 12 years, you are able to claim $10 after a lawsuit challenged the energy, energy drink's claim to give you wings. The Austrian uh, drink giant. They're Austrian? Okay. okay. They're a drink giant. Apparently Agreed. so. I never knew that. Uh, agreed to a $13 million settlement with Amer uh, American consumers in a class action complaint that alleged the distinctive tasting drink was no more effective than a cup of coffee, despite the advertisement that promised increased performance in concentration. Okay. Oh, shit. If I were the five hour energy guys, I'd be worried now. Yeah, new shit. The settlement yet to be approved by the U.S. District Court of the uh, Southern District of New York offers uh, any consumer who bought the Red Bull product between January 1st of 2002 and October 2014 either $10 in cash or $15 worth of Red Bull products. <laughs> take the Red Bull. I'll take the Red Bull, thanks. <laughs> Wait, how are you going to prove that you, between January 1st, 2002, that's 20 years and six months ago, in October 3rd, 2014, that sometime in those 12 years, 12 and a half years, you drank Red Bull. I save the receipts. I, I claim them oh. on my taxes. <laughs> you don't deduct all your Red Bull receipts? Yeah, I deduct all my Red Bulls on my taxes. Is that box on the 1040? <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you partaken any Red Bull this year? Yes. You could say that it is a uh, business expense. In order to, to stay awake to do business. Yeah, because I remember falling asleep looking for stock photos at one point in my career. And did you drink Red Bull to keep you keep yourself? No, awake? I didn't have any Red Bull. And I wouldn't drink Missed any out. of it. I heard it's bad for your liver. Oh, well, everything's bad for your liver, Joe. Okay. Well, um, I will say that again, to go back to our agency regulators. Uh, I think it was Jordan Peterson who was banned and taken off Twitter this week because of German reporting. German, right? so those damn Germans are up to it again, huh? But it's a, it's like this is not. There's no, you know, the 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 free speech and all this other stuff. It's like that's not even a thing. It's like you're being regulated by another country at this point. Yes, Section oh. two hundred three is like it doesn't even matter. No, not really. It's more of a suggestion. It's a, actually it's a it's a it, it's the way to, to give companies an out. That's all. It's not for the the users of the platform. It's for the companies to get they're they're given an out for whatever decisions they make. They can justify it. I like that gif on screen where it's uh what's that uh, homeless guy's name that Chappelle plays? Dave Chappelle. What? I don't know. That's who it is. I don't know. Do all his characters have names? Uh, I don't know. So there you go. Uh, people, you can claim, if you can prove it, that you purchased Red Bull within the past 12 years, you can get $15 worth of Red Bull of products. More Red Bull, yeah. Buy more and, Red Bull. And I would just say, if you do that, that absolutely take the $15. Uh, that is my medical advice. Um, take the $15 worth of Red Bull products, sorry, and save those receipts for the inevitable lawsuit in another 15 years. So, it actually says right here, no proof of purchase is required for claims. Well, shit. Where's the form? I'm going to fill it out right now. Uh, the, the form can be made through uh, this website. Oh, so there it is. Web form publishes. And it link. goes nowhere. Fuck. Oh, DNS down. address cannot be found. Oh, they got hammered offline. Shit. All right. I'm going to keep coming back to this. I, <clears> I, need, <throat> I need my $15 worth of Red Bull. I feel like I was ripped. Um, it's not immediately clear how the total payout sum would be divided among the millions of annual consumers of the caffeinated drink. The law firm said complaint, complaint, to Benjamin Catherter, 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 uh, alleged Red Bull was misleading consumers by making claims about the functional beverage and its ability to <laughs> give you wings. Okay, well, it sounds like this guy won. He fought the law, and uh, wait. he won. He did. He fought here's, big, big drink. Here's how I do it. 
I would calculate the approximate number of people who are going to cash in on this. Mm -hmm. I would determine what is $15 worth of Red Bull. We know what that is. It's a, what's a can, a little over a dollar. So it's not a huge amount. No. I would dump that into a giant Olympic swimming pool and allow people, they can jump in and drink as much Red Bull as they want. So I'm going to Amazon right now to see if I can buy Red Bull and I'm going to see how much it is. You don't want Thank to go to Amazon. You want to go to Amazon and subscribe to it, and have a monthly delivery of Red Bull. No, I wanted to buy from Amazon to see how much counterfeit Chinese Red Bull is. <laughs> It's spelled incorrectly. Red Bull. What the hell is this? Red, red Balls. <laughs> red Red Ball. I or, I ordered Red Bull, but I got Chinese Red Balls. Uh, so you can order. Holy shit! I uh, I can order a pack of Red Bull. I can get a monthly subscription if I so choose. Um, let's see here. I can get a twenty four pack for sixty dollars. Is that good? I I, I don't know. I, What's I the going? Not, I, I don't know. I'm not what the a Red Bull drinker. Here's a here's a wait here's a sixty four pack. Oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. Never mind. Okay, they're doing stupid, stupid subscriptions. Okay, yeah, so how gonna, much is how much is just a can? Looks like it's about a buck twenty five. Two twenty five. Of course, if sixty divided by twenty four. Wait, tw are you getting twenty four or sixty of them? Um. Well, you get you get twenty four cans, right? Twenty or you get twenty four you twenty four cans for sixty dollars. There's 24 cans. Oh, they're different size cans. Shit. Yeah, these are, so these are uh, 12 ounce, 12 fluid ounces. These yeah, these are like are little the, eight ounce ones. Yeah. 12 ounce. Uh, that's, that's your big boy. So according, according oh, here's to- here's a 16 ounce. Oh, they, they got to have a tall boy in here. How much, do they have a tall boy? So uh, the eight ounce can, you can get a, a four pack, if you so choose, for a one-time deal of $6. So just a little, about one twenty five for an eight ounce can, so- I want a 24 ounce tall boy of Red Bulls. How much is the thing? caffeine version? There's okay. a 20 ounce. I'm not finding 24 ounces though. Mm. All right. I, I want a tall boy. All right. Joe, you drink Monster? You like that Monster drink? Joe doesn't like Monster. It's too hardcore for him. He's too. I, away. I stepped away. I, uh, he left. He got bored of the show. No, no. I listened to it. I, I put the speakers on and then I uh, switch it. To the audio is going to be from the system. Yeah, we're, we're so watching I, you leave, and then we ask Joe questions. That's fine. I listen. I listen. But no, I think monster drinks are for fucking Type A shitheads, and so I, I'm going to offend people with that. But I honestly, it's like That's what it says on the can. It's like wake up and drink coffee like a normal person. Yes. Jesus Christ, if you're going to fucking drink Rockstar and all this other bullshit, like I used to do it, but I've gotten to this point where it's like you're it's kind of douchey it is i mean I, I can't believe monster is still around it, it, i mean there is a conspiracy around monster and its logo you know that one joe the conspiracy no, no, the monster no, no, logo no, no, conspiracy no, 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 no. oh wait the m thing yeah where it, i think it has to do with some sort of like weird uh zion it looks like six, conspiracy six, six or like 666 like monster like the monster energy drink a logo is a symbol of 666. So you're drinking the blood of the devil. You got an image up that kind of explains it. Yes. Dude, if you're drinking Red Bull, I, so look, I was a kid. I used to drink like Southern Comfort. Like how fucking hillbilly shit is that? You, you know don't what drink I mean? Fireball anymore? No, none of this shit. Like, <laughs> what do you see on the side of the road? You don't see craft beers. You see. Shit like Bush Red Light. Bull and Bush Light, <laughs> and yeah, it's like old Budweiser Milwaukee, cans, Budweiser. Like nobody's like the people who are drinking shit beer are the ones who are littering because they're fucking tasteless retards. It's the people who are drinking craft beer. It's like they're not going to throw that. They're <laughs> the not chucking people are, bottles. Yeah, the of, craft beer people are they're at home waxing their mustaches. That's true. Yeah, they're trimming their you know. <laughs> fancy facial hair so the the monster energy drink conspiracy uh while there are wine moms you know uh wine moms <laughs> while the wine <laughs> while the wine moms neglect their children well what I a housekeeper's for joe i have an au pair yeah we need immigration we need illegal immigration because the wine moms don't want to take care of their kids because dad's <laughs> drinking craft beer and not littering. <laughs> well, it's a good drink. 
at this high top fade. So uh, mo the monster energy drink conspiracy. So uh, the, the, the logo, which looks like monster claw marks, where each one of those, they, they come in three, each one of those is representative of the Hebrew numeral for the number six. So each one of those is six. So it's six, six, six. The monster energy drink is demonic. And the Bible tells us that. So there apparently. you go, people. Yeah. So stick with Red Bull, you get ten dollars, apparently. Fifteen dollars in Red Bull products. <laughs> in Red Bull Red Bull products. Yeah. I once had someone describe to me that their method for, for Red Bull, because they to, to Joe's point, they they used Red Bull as their uh caffeine intake. Mm. Their their preferred method to consume it was to get a sheet of glass, pour the can of Red Bull out on the glass and let it dry in the sun, then chop it up with a razor blade, push it all together in a line and snort it. He, he, he gotta be joking <laughs> this can't yeah. be real right well this, the the way it was explained to me is exactly what the guy said now knowing the guy it, it was obviously a joke but it's it's i thought it was pretty funny it's like he's snorting cocaine but at the same time you we used to read stories of people uh butt bonging alcohol like butt in chugging. order yeah butt chugging in order to get it in your system faster so i wonder if people did something similar with red bull so that caffeine goes straight to your bloodstream and so you get jazz so red bull gives you animals. red bull red bull gives you jazz hands what? you or got something. well there's something like that but then i think what you need to do is and this is what i've heard along the lines of what you're talking about mike, that, mike. is you got to take tampons and mm -hmm. soak them in monster and, and red yep. bull yep. and vodka and shove that shit right up your ass yep hey Dad, Joe, that, that was last month it was pride month it's no longer pride month it's now america month well Red, white, and blue tampons. Yeah, there you go. Celebrate R America with some red, right white, up blue, the red bull. Yahoo. <laughs> some Aust Austrian drink right up your Yahoo. Yep. All right, guys. What do you say we get out of here? We've Wait, done I enough damage. Nope, nope. No, no. <laughs> got one more you have to get to. Okay. I promised it. I teased it. It's Arby's. Okay. Well, yeah, we do. This is the worst thing I've our, ever heard of. We do stay up God at Arby's it. News. We are on top of everything Arby's is doing. And they are the pilot restaurant. All right. So if you want to travel oh and God. work with, you know, these truck stop trailer hose, Arby's is your shit. <laughs> like, I, hey, I thought baby, you meant you restaurants for pilots. I was trying to figure out where you're going with that. Well, the pilot gas stops and the truck stops and all that. You know, if you want these lot lizards, if you want to bang any of these, you got to be like onion. No, I don't lady. go to truck stops. I drink craft beer. I'm not not one of those those Michelob people. Golly. Yeah, well, the Michelob people need the trailer <laughs> hose, right? The lot and you, you, you go in and be like, "Do you like Arby's sauce?" Because I got some. <laughs> well, we gotta get this Arby's story because it's absolutely critical. This is <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Arby's unveils new meat sweat defense kit in partnership with Old Spice. <laughs> Man, I got mixed emotions about this one. So it's Arby's with Old Spice. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, Arby's and Old Spice have teamed up to help fans beat the meat sweats <laughs> with the release of the new meat sweat defense kit. That's some good news on that front. Hey, kids, beat your meat sweats. Each meat sweat defense kit includes two dry sprays in popular sense that produce... That protects against the meat sweating potential of a half pound roast beef sandwich. Additionally, I think no, no, no. Band name: Meat Sweating Potential. I I was actually uh, peripherally on uh, on the uh, part of a band called Meat Storm, and uh, it is kind of like that, where you eat too many meats and you you get sweats. But Meat Storm is just kinda, it had a more metallic edge to it, you know. But Meat Sweats is good. A good name, too. Um, but additionally, alongside the dry spray will be a one-of-a-kind roast beef patterned meat sweat sweatshirt and sweat pant with a co-branded <laughs> towel and headband. It also comes with a $15 Arby's gift card. Can I exchange that for $15 with a Red Bull? Nope. Well, you could <laughs> on the black market, you can. And I want that Arby's, the $15 worth of Arby's, I want that in roast beef by weight, not by not by menu item. 
Yeah. And when you go to the restaurant, you tip people, you pull out your wallet and it's like, here's a bunch of roast beef. <laughs> That's just as good as cash. <laughs> Probably not far off at this this point. <laughs> It'd be great if you tip people in finely sliced Arby's <laughs> roast beef. Roast beef. Oh, like you go to uh, your favorite Olive Garden restaurant and you <laughs> You, tip the a and roast roast beef beef. The table. you go to the oligarchy and you get your free breadsticks and your salad and and, and you don't even order anything and you, you just tip them with <laughs> deli meat. Pull that right out of your pocket. Here's some pocket meat for you. Don't spend that all in one place. Pocket meat. Uh, well, fans can get their hands on the limited edition meat sweat defense kit now at this special Arby's shop. So oh, arbyshop.com. Shit, really? oh. For sixty dollars while supplies last. What is all this stuff? By the way, there is a commercial if you want to run that too. Okay, yeah. This is what I want. This is what I need. Okay, we'll run this commercial. I like Arby's. Arby's. And oh, it's it, sold out. Son of a. It's sold bitch. out already. Uh-huh. God damn it! We're we're always a day late and a dollar short, or roast beef short. Uh, well. But Maybe they, we can they, find they, on the they black do still market. Have some, uh, yeah, what's, actually, it's a good point. They, I was going to say, they do still have beefy Aloha flip-flops. We've got to go to eBay or Craigslist. Yeah. I'm going to go to eBay. I'm going to look up Arby's Meat yeah, I'm gonna, Sweat. While you look that up, on Play's commercial. Okay. Arby's half-pound roast beef. Piled high with meat sweats. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Old Spice Meat Sweat Defense. Defends against the meat sweats. It's very literal. <sighs> Get out of this ad. I'm on a horsey sauce. <laughs> Arby's, we have the meat sweats. Defense. Look at this shit. I got to say, you know, Old Spice has some really good advertisement, branding, marketing. They have a strong team. Didn't they hire uh, Tim and Eric at one point to do these commercials? Yes. I mean, Joe, Joe knows all about this. Like, Old Spice made a hell of a turnaround within the past 20 years with branding. It was considered like an old fogey kind yeah, of Yeah, it was set. an old man's cologne yeah. for like, you know, here's a man riding a horse out in Texas again. He's put on his Old Spice when he gets home, get the manure off his face. Or whatever, <laughs> or whatever they do in Texas, I don't know. But. They eat manure. I mean, it's really difficult. It's, I, I, I feel like most people walk around with manure on their face every day. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You work in an really office. Difficult. What the hell? You got to stay on top of it. That's why I was wearing that face sheet at the beginning yeah. of the show. Got to get that manure off of it. <laughs> By the way, Mike, so I dropped in the carrot shop. Here is what the uh, meat sweat defense kits are going for on eBay. Okay, let's check it out. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> top one is $240. Yay! I don't got that kind of money. <laughs> for meat sweats. And it doesn't even come with meat. Uh. I got any money. I need aluminum free meat sweat deodorant. You could get one for about $180 and the shipping is right around $15 on all of these. Uh there is an XXL size so is Arby's meat sweats defense oh, kit. Wait, what's what is this come with a shirt? Is that what it is? What's the difference? Comes size? with a, a shirt towel. A shirt towel. A shirt towel. <laughs> Some sort of shirt towel. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Wow, they're all being resold. I, I kind of want to. I, I missed out on the. Uh, what did I want? I want the Oreos and Ritz. Oh, your, I missed your, out on those your shitty Oreos yeah, Ritz cracker thing. You missed out on this. Yep. Uh, we did have the option to buy a haunted painting, but um, we did. I I purposely for went that or <laughs> because I didn't want to be cursed, dude. I you know what? When I die, I want to haunt a dildo so that I get like ghost ass, and then you produce a lot of moaning too. I think so. Yeah, moon, moon, I don't moon. have to do the booing. Like no. they're gonna be like, oh, and I'll be like the ghost dildo. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I agree, Alex. That's a strange thing to to wish on your deathbed. Uh, so yeah, you can get it for about uh, right around two hundred bucks. All said and done, it's this great. This makes a great Christmas present for your grandfather or dad, who probably <laughs> likes Old Spice and Arby's. It's win win. Now, it, I don't know, like, if the package comes prepackaged with, like, not just the Old Spice, but a roast beef sandwich. So, if it, they ship this to you in the mail, that might be rotted by the time it gets to you. I think, honestly, I think that's the uh, the purpose of the $15 Arby's gift card. Because they oh, couldn't okay. put food in there. But, it's not I to would. say, they couldn't put a bunch of um, 
of sealed and dried roast beef. Yeah. And a bunch of horsey sauce in there. You said the you said you couldn't put food in their butt. Did I? Well, there you go. Clip he that. Did. Say, he did say that. You couldn't put food in there. He did. But... Yay! Yeah. All right, then. There you are. He did say it. That's your show title. Yeah. Uh, I, I will be using Mid Journey uh, henceforth to produce artwork uh, for the show. Yeah, so send me an invite so I can drop the stuff down the uh, on the live stream. And I will. Uh, I only have one invite, and I well, gave send it, to, it to me. I, I sent it to somebody in get uh, it Discord. Back. Then get it back. I Tell don't think I can get it back. You find out who it is. You take it back. It's a uh, Hellblazer, I think, or Hellzed. Right. You have anybody, to willingly has, give it up. Anybody who has access, uh, DM me on uh, Twitch or Twitch on um, Discord. Send me an invite. I'll see if I have another invite. If I have another invite, I'll, I'll give. I'll give you one. But um, so I'll, I'll produce an artwork with Android Michael Jackson. Uh, with Old Spice and Arby's in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. And that will be the uh, the artwork that I'll put forth. So. But Robot Michael Jackson having meat sweats. Some, and I, we'll see how the computer interprets that. So Yeah, they put some like deli meat hanging out of his mouth. Okay. I'll see what I can do. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. We covered yeah, the biggest good. news that we possibly could today. This is an and emergency. We got to go. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs>